Of all Swift UI's view types, List is the one you'll rely on the most. That doesn't mean you'll use it the most. I'm sure Text or VStack will claim that crown, more that it's such a workhorse that you'll come back to it time and time again. And this isn't new. The equivalent of List in UIKit was UI Table View, and it got used just as much. The job of List is to provide a scrolling table of data. In fact, it's pretty much identical to Form, except it's used for presentation of data rather than requesting user input. Don't get me wrong, you'll use Form quite a lot too, but really it's just a specialized type of List. Just like Form, you can provide List with a selection of static views to have them rendered as individual rows. We could say List, Text Hello World, Text Hello World, Text Hello World. We can also switch to For Each in order to create rows dynamically from an array or range. For Each, 0 to 5, Text, Dynamic Row, dollar zero. Where things get more interesting is the way you can mix static and dynamic rows. Text, Static Row 1, Text, Static Row 2, Text, Static Row 3, Text, Static Row 4. And of course, we can combine that with sections to make our list easier to read. Section, header, text, section 1. Then section 2, and section 3. Being able to have both static and dynamic content side by side, let us recreate something like the Wi-Fi screen in Apple Settings app. A toggle to enable Wi-Fi system-wide, then a dynamic list of nearby networks, then some more static cells with options to auto-join hotspots and so on. You'll notice that this list looks very different from the form we had previously, but really all you're seeing is a different table view style on iOS. We can get a similar look and feel using the list style modifier like this. Dot list style, grouped list style. Now everything you've seen so far works fine with form as well as list, even the dynamic content. But one thing list can do that form can't is to generate its rows entirely from dynamic content without needing a for each. So if your entire list is made up of dynamic rows, you can simply write this. List 0 to 5. This allows us to create lists really quickly, which is helpful given how common they are. In this project, we're going to use lists slightly differently, because we'll be making it loop over an array of strings. We've used for each with ranges a lot, either hard-coded, 0 to 5, or relying on variable data, 0 to students.count. And that works great, because SwiftUI can identify each row uniquely based on its position in the range. When working with an array of data, SwiftUI still needs to know how to identify each row uniquely. So if one gets removed, it can simply remove that one rather than having to redraw the whole list. This is where the ID parameter comes in, and it works identically in both list and for each. It lets us tell SwiftUI exactly what makes each item in the array unique. When working with arrays of strings and numbers, the only thing that makes these values unique is the values themselves. That is, if we had the array 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then those numbers themselves are the unique identifiers. After all, we don't have anything else to work with. When working with this kind of list data, we use id backslash dot self like this. Let people equals an array of fin layer Luke ray. List people id backslash dot self text dollar zero. That works just the same with for each. So if you wanted to mix static and dynamic rows, we could have written this instead. For each, people, id, backslash, dot self. 